Welcome back to the farm. Just apologize for delay. As you can see, how hot it is here in the workshop. It makes life a little more difficult, and then, you know, life is. But today's topic, as you can see, is all about compost. Now, this right here is very cut and dry. That's why I lean to this. But since I have a lot more woodier material, and it takes a very long time, and I have never been very successful about making a, quote, compost heap. I can make compost, but refining it is what takes forever. So now, I like to get into more of the part they don't change in you about. Train, excuse me. And that is the art of making compost. And that is, you get the recipe right, but for some reason or another, it doesn't get hot enough, you're not producing enough greens, which happens a lot with your average household. But what are some ways that we can add to that, wherever it is high tech or low tech, with the techniques that can help speed up the processes. So, let me get over the compost heap before my neighbor comes back. I'll be right back. Okay, we're over at the compost seat. Now, I went ahead and cleaned up my bins yesterday. And you can see I have uh, some more modifications to my trash can bins. That's perfectly okay. Now, let me just show you in here because this is a better example. And you see right there, I have some, some chicken wire that I laying around, rolled up in the cylinder. Believe it or not, I can actually feel heat coming off this right now. Now, unfortunately, when I was backfilling this, material fell into the cylinder. That's okay. I don't think it's a huge deal. The idea of the cylinder is to create a gap of aeration. With that gap, that will help air permeate more through the compost. And the idea behind that, in terms of the science, is it gives more airflow, meaning the the microbes, the fungi, and the bacteria have more oxygen to breathe and more air to help resonate. The other thing you can do, and that would help with water distribution as well, to make sure it waters evenly. The other thing you can do is, go back over here, if you have water bottles, when you empty out a water bottle, Fill it up with hot water, and you can sink it into the compost ball. As you see right here, I've done this earlier. And it looks like we got some black surzer flies in here. That's very useful. That will help out. And the idea behind that is the water is a heat sink, and you see right here, you can see the uh, condensation already. And if you're wondering what those are, those are black surzer flies. They are great agents for uh, decomposition. If you have chickens, they make excellent chicken feed. But this is a very good sign. And the idea behind that, before I got distracted, is this acting as a heat sink. It's absorbing the water. The water is deserving the heat because water is endothermic reactions, which means it deserves heat. So by having that resonate, that's helping to act as a temperature increase, or what do we call it, heat sink. For you more computer guys, is this like having a uh, water cool? Water, it's just like having a water cool in your. Uh, computer exact same principle and I'm sad I didn't realize this into this recently 
Now we're gonna put your temperature in there to see how hot this is. You see, I just stuck this in. It's already saying it's 102 right now. It's going up. And that's saying 110. And that's, I felt an empty gap. Let's see what happens if I put it right next to compost. What we want it to be is about 65 degrees Celsius. This is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're hitting 100 and we're hitting 110, 111 right now. This is good. I may have to add some more water bottles to this. That's perfectly fine. Another option, if you want to be more high tech, is you can buy something like this, which is a Monte Compost, straight out of Australia. You can download an app that you put a zip cord in. You will have to charge it, obviously. And it gives you precise detail of how much water, how much gas is being produced, if you want more precision. I do like to use that to check in, but this is a very, so far it's very promising. Even with, even with that being the way it is, I can feel heat emanating this from opening up the lid. Now, reality is, what you would do is you can use chicken wire, garden wire, if you have a PVP pipe, you can backfill this, the material around it, and leave this void. I would add my water to here, this to create a void space, or I would add the water around. I got this idea off of uh, another YouTuber called The Smart Garner, and he has a uh, wire bin so it's very fascinating to see. Something else I can do is increase the air holes in here. But you can see right there, you can see my finger blocking it, which I apologize for, is enhance the air holes of that. But this would be a good idea for leaf mold too. And if you don't, you want to make a composter and you don't have a trash can, but you have chicken wire, go ahead and use the chicken wire and just brace it. And you can use whatever you have it on. But this has just been a brief tips and trick video for the composting. I'll come back and check it in a few days and see what we got. But thanks for joining me. I'll catch you in the next video.